when the narcissist replaces you. When they discard you and find someone new. When the narcissist replaces you, you may blame yourself. You may think that it's because of something you did wrong. You may think that the narcissist has changed. You may think that they are so much happier now with this new person. The narcissist hasn't changed. They're still the same person. You're just witnessing the beginning stages of the abusive cycle. When the narcissist meets a new target, they love bomb them. They prepare and train them for a specific purpose by pretending to be everything that person needs them to be. So they might do nice things for them. They might buy them gifts. But it's all for show. It's designed to hurt you. And it's designed to secure their new supply. The narcissist will never have a healthy relationship. They're self-absorbed and they lack empathy. They cannot share another person's experience. They cannot feel any care or concern for another person. So they cannot connect with them. Because empathy is what allows us to connect to other people. It's what stops us from doing things that might hurt other people. Narcissists lack empathy. They cannot feel what another person is feeling. So they will never have a healthy relationship. They will never be able to experience a deep connection with anyone. It will always be superficial. It will only exist on the surface. Where their only concern is what they can get from you. Rather than what they can share. Which is why when the narcissist has used you for all your worth. They will discard you, because you're no use to them anymore. But when you see them as someone new, you assume that they get in a different side of the narcissist. As though there's this whole other side to their personality. When there isn't, what you got from the narcissist was what they had to give. There isn't anything else other than what you got. That was their personality. That was them. And this new person is going to go through the same thing. It's just that the narcissist gives you an orchestration. They know how to plan and coordinate, coordinate the elements of a situation to produce the desired effect. They give you a false impression. They manipulate your emotions. Just as they did when they first met you. They led you to believe something that was not true. Which is why you should never believe anything a narcissist is displaying to you. Because all you're going to get from them is an illusion. A deceptive appearance or impression. The narcissist does this to manipulate you. To trick you into believing that they're so much happier with someone else. Because it makes them feel good. 
It stops them from regretting their decision to discard you. The last thing a narcissist wants to feel when they leave you is regret. They want to feel like they made the right decision. And if they can get you to believe it, it makes it more believable for them. They discarded you. Because in their minds, they believe that you were the problem. You didn't do what they wanted you to do. You didn't give them what they wanted. Maybe you questioned and confronted them. And maybe it hurt when the narcissist discarded you. But it is actually the best thing that can happen. Because it means that you are not a good source of supply for the narcissist. It means that you stood your ground. You realised that you deserved better. But now you need to accept that the narcissist is never going to change. Maybe they've replaced you. But it's going to be the same as it was with you. Because they never look at themselves. They never reflect on their own actions. So they don't think that they need to change anything. They don't think there's anything wrong with them. When there's something wrong with all of us. We all have things we need to change or improve. So people who think they don't have anything wrong with them. Are actually more flawed than anyone else. They don't care to change anything about themselves because they lack empathy. They don't care about how their behavior is affecting you. They're selfish. So they're always going to be abusive. The cycle will always repeat itself. And they will just expect people to overlook what they're doing. To pretend as though nothing is wrong. Which is something that some people may do. They may be a doormat for the narcissist. They may be willing to be their punching bag. And they will act like nothing is wrong. But you don't know what's happening behind the scenes. You don't know what's really going on with them. All you're seeing is what the narcissist wants you to see. You're watching their movie. And they can feed whatever narrative they want to you. Whatever makes them look good. They will often replace you just to hurt you. Just to make you feel like you were the problem. So that they can feel like there's nothing wrong with them. Because narcissists are shame based people. Who are doing everything they can to avoid reflecting on their shame. Deep down they know there's something wrong with them. They just don't want to reflect on it. It's too painful for them to deal with. They don't want to do the work to correct it. So they'd rather blame you. They'd rather create a situation where you feel like you're at fault. They will go from one relationship to the next. Whenever the other person questions or confronts them. Whenever they feel like they're at fault. And you may think the narcissist is running from you. 
you may think that they are replacing you. But they're actually just running from themselves. They're trying to replace this undesirable reflection of themselves. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at Dark Survivor, Dakota UK. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.